Good evening from Expert Credit Suisse. My name is Kristen, and tonight I'm going to show you, or at least try to show you, what to do when your items come back as verified, frivolous, or they will no longer reinvestigate, okay? So I'm going to show you a couple of reasons that it might be coming back like that, but this is a major one that you're using templates when you should not be using templates. And if you go back to uh, my last three or four videos, I show you why you shouldn't be using templates and how to actually fix that. So we're just looking at this right now. So this is a, a 609 dispute letter and it's just law heavy. Pursuant to section six, uh, 611 and 609 and blah, blah, blah. Just take that whole reason, the bottom line behind the 609 and put it into a simple dispute letter. You need to send me the actual you know, application or the signed contract that was filled out when this account was opened or it needs to be removed because this is not reported accurately and I need the proof. So don't sit back and take it when, you know, they're send, they're do, using stall tactics, excuse me, stall tactics and scare tactics and just trying to get you to stop. You don't have to stand for that. Here's another example of just crap. This is like a 90 page dispute letter. It's really only three pages, but you get what I'm saying. This is my third attempt to resolve said inaccuracies. Please be advised. What is your method of verification? Section 609 says, section 611 says, pursuant to six, uh, section 611, section 1681, blah, 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 blah. You see how long this is? Okay. And this is a third attempt. So in this package, um, there is round one, two, three, four, and then there's five if you want to take them to court. And then, of course, there's a uh, response to frivolous accu accu excuse me, accusations. Now, you can see that you can, you know, copy and paste your information right into the top, and then you're going to handwrite your stuff right here. Guys, it, this just, it doesn't work, okay? Yes, you're saying, you know, I need you to verify this and all that kind of stuff, but you don't need to put, you know, Black Law's Dictionary for verification means number one. It also means number two. It also means number three. No. When something comes back as verified, you find out why and how it's been verified. If they are saying that it's frivolous, you figure out why they're saying it's frivolous and then you attack it very, very simply. You do have things um, that you can use, such as making complaints with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, okay? So one of the things I wanna show you is actually um, Cushman versus TransUnion from 1997, and there's three parts. It was actually four parts I wanted to show you, but I couldn't, for some reason I couldn't find the fourth, but um, so, in this, TransUnion states that it is never required to go beyond the original source in ascertaining whether the information is accurate. How can that be possible when the FCRI states that the bureau, whoever they are, must go beyond the original source of information, the creditor, to verify, you know, to actually make sure that these things are reporting accurately because they're being paid to do so. So. Uh, Congress says that, you know, rather the statute places the burden of investigation squarely on the consumer reporting agency. So how can it be up to you and how can they state, well, we're not going to reinvestigate, so you need to actually go to the original creditor to figure this out when it says right here in Congress says in this lawsuit that no, dude, it's on you, not me. So the third part uh, right here. So. Therefore, a reinvestigation that merely shifts the burden back to the consumer and the credit grantor cannot fulfill the obligations contemplated by the statute. So uh, basically, the whole point behind this whole thing is that they, you know, the bureaus have a right here grave responsibility to make sure that they're not just, you know, Capital One says that you were late. Okay, you were late. Let's just tell, you know, John Doe that he was late because Capital One says that he was late. No, it doesn't work like that. Number one, where is your proof? Number two, why are you saying this is frivolous? Because this information, um, you know, I'm looking at my credit report and my credit report shows right here that I was late, but I'm looking at my bank statement right online and I can see that my payment was accepted on time. So how are you saying that I was late? And of course they're gonna say, oh, well, because Capital One said so. No, it doesn't work like that. So what you can do is you can go to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and um, I was gonna walk you through this, but it would take too long because their website too slow you choose credit reporting credit reporting and then you choose whatever one fits it which would be inaccurate information on your credit report or that they didn't fix an issue on your credit report you put your reason in the first box so everything that we talked about that they're saying you know that you disputed company x 
um, account number one, two, three, and the reason that you're disputing it is because of this, and you don't think that it's right, and you contacted them on X date, and blah, 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 you're gonna put that right here where it says reason, okay, where it says what happened. You check this box right here. Fair resolution to this issue? Delete this now. It's not accurate. It wasn't verified. They're saying that, you know, first of all, they didn't even uh, respond to my last two disputes, which is another reason that you can choose on there. They didn't respond within 30 days or whatever it is. But the whole point is that you want to get, you ask for the deletion. So they have to respond to this. I believe it's in within 15 days. But the whole point is that you made a complaint. You can print out a copy of it when you're done, which, uh, you know, you're attaching your documents here. Make sure you attach your ID, SSN, and proof of address so they will not do anything with your complaint and they'll just give you another stall tactic. So anyways, send a copy of your actual complaint that you made and um, you'll, most of the time it does expedite the process and that's the whole point behind this is that you don't want to be using um you know your whole year to actually fix your credit you know what i mean how are you going to go a whole year without your credit or two years or three years some dude called me today and said that um some company's been working on his credit for three years and i'm like what like my head felt like it was literally going to explode like i felt like i had brains coming out of my ears and everything it was crazy so Anyways, the whole point is that you don't want to sit back and take what they're saying. You don't have to, okay? There's laws that protect you. So if you need help, if you have questions, if you would like me to take over your file and you'd like to find out how, you can simply go to expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash book dash online. Um, you can click right here for mobile booking. It'll take you to my uh, my direct booking site um, but this one's on my website so you can choose the free consultation we'll have 30 minutes and I mean let's find out how I can assist you by doing a credit sweep so no more templates no more taking their crap and figure out the why behind everything why was this verified how was it verified why are you saying that it's frivolous why are you saying that you're not going to reinvestigate and why aren't you complying with the law that is basically it for tonight um i do hope that you guys have had a great week um i will be coming out with my paid video series soon and um that's basically it i hope you have get excuse me i hope you guys have a great week and um have a great evening